Hi again, everybody. Mike Moyers along with head coach Brad Hoyt of the Trailblazers of John Wood Community College, and you're going back to Danville. You got a reason to. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I, it, it's uh, we went last year uh, naturally, and so when you do that, you're thinking, oh, man, I don't know if we'll ever get back here again. You right. know how much fun is this? You try to enjoy it, and. And what do you know, 12 months later, our guys figured out another region tournament, and uh, we get another swing at it. The fun thing about following uh, any type of athletics is to watch a group grow, and you've seen yeah. your group grow a lot. Yeah, we've grown a lot, and yeah. we really have. You know, we coming out a year ago and having some success, we lose a first-team All-American that was maybe had arguably one of the best seasons that anyone's ever had here. Um, and so as we got into the early part of November, we didn't know really how our personality was going to adjust to that. Right. Um, but I tell you what, we've got we had a group of sophomores, you know, a group that was here last year. They're tough-minded guys, and we kept saying, just stay the course. Just it's a marathon, it's not a sprint. That was sort of something we said from the the, the whole time, and our guys sort of bought into that. You know, we had our ups and our downs and, and our drama along the way. I think like every every sure. sports season does. But uh, um, when the smoke cleared. Um, our toughness sort of showed, and and, uh, and here we are. The season's still going. And when the smoke cleared this past Saturday, they played a wonderful game. You beat uh, you beat Lincoln, and that game got kind of squirrely. It was 60-60, and then you go on a 23-10 to run and put them away. And then the following day, wow. I, I mean, a battle. I mean, Danville may be the biggest team. That I know we've played <clears throat> maybe the biggest team in the country. I mean, they're, they're huge, physical, um, and it was a physical 12 round bout um, is really what it was and, and I, I kidded our guys before the game I said if this was a pickup basketball game and nobody knew anybody and we lined their team up and our team up none of y'all getting picked first <laughs> uh, maybe not in the top 10 so um, so we had to rely on just sort of who we are and kind of our personality and and uh, just really proud of our guys to sort of sort that one out. That game was pretty edgy. Tied at 59 at the end of regulation. They had the ball, and you're going, hey, what are we doing here? That's exactly right. Yeah. And they got a decent look at it, had an offensive rebound put back. Um, put back. Our and Andrew Howard, our freshman big kid, got a hand on it. Um, I, I thought – I felt very confident that our guys, that our talent level was good enough to beat them. And so in games like that, you want that thing extended. And so we got into the – right before overtime, I told our guys, hey, the, the better teams like overtime. I mean, we're, we're, we, the longer this goes, it'll sort of sort itself out. And, and first play of that, uh, of that overtime, Paxton Harmon comes off of a little, uh, little pick and pop and drills a three, and, and uh, that sort of got us back and, and sort of held them off late. He shot a couple of threes on Saturday from a different zip code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he sends them up. Yeah, he, he does. <laughs> Between him and, and Brody Gronewall, the, those two guys are – they're in range when they walk into the gym, as you there say, you and uh, um, and we've got pretty good guys around them that find them. And the Paxton had an unbelievable weekend, and uh, he's a really tough matchup, and it just sort of shows you a little bit of the toughness, I think, of our group. That's Brad Hoyt. I'm Mike Moyers. This group, talking about the Trailblazers, they're going to the Nationals in Danville on the 17th. We'll be back to talk about the number eight seed, Olive Harvey. Whew, they are quick. We'll talk about that after we hear this from John Wood Community College. But that you never went to college. And that hit me right in the heart. Taking classes at John Wood has advanced my career. Manufacturing has given me a great quality of life. And then the boys turn around and say, Papa, did you make that? I didn't make that, but I was part of that. My name is David Del Castillo. I have attended John Wood Community College, and I am living the American dream. Hey, we're back at JWCC. Mike Moyers along with head coach Brad Hoyt. Well, you're back to Danville. It's another great uh, return for you. You go in at 21 and 11, and you're taking on a track team that's the number eight seed in this tournament. They're quick. Yeah, they're quick and average in the 90s. Um, they're, they're really aggressive, athletic. I don't think they're – we've seen that before, so it won't be the first time we've seen that kind of style. Right. Um, and the unique thing is they play really fast, but uh, one of their guards uh, is leader in – the, in the country in three-point field goals made. Um, so I think he's made in the mid-120s oh, in, wow. in 32 games or something like that. So, yeah, I mean, they're, they're fast. We watched film early last night and today and trying to get a better sense of them. But, uh, but again, this time of year, it's about us being us as much as, as, much as what we're going to see on Tuesday. Their low point output has been something like 87 points the last five or six games. So they can put the ball up. They, they, they do, and they go really fast on makes and misses. You know, I mean, it's one of those where defensive transition, getting back, trying to find guys, uh, will be a huge point of emphasis this week. And, and they've got multiple guys that find multiple shots in multiple ways. And so those guys are always tough to guard. 
Um, but at the flip side, they're going to try to figure out how to guard us and try to guard our action. And, and it's two different styles, I can tell you that. It'll be, it'll be two different styles, sort of a clash of styles a little bit, and, and, and ho- hopefully ours wins out. You know, Coach, I, when I first looked at the way this tournament was set up, I thought, man, nine days off? But it's a good thing, isn't it? Yeah, it, it really is. And we're trying to get healthy, you yeah. know. And, and, I mean, two of, two of the guys in our top eight uh, haven't played in the last two weeks. And, and we're hoping to get one of those guys back for the national tournament. Um, our sixth man that had an unbelievable um, February, he's out for the national tournament. So we won't get him healthy. Um, actually fractured his pelvis in the last game of the regular season, hit really hard. So so we, we, we've got to get a little bit healthy. Um, preparations and getting ready to go to a tournament like this takes some time from an administrative standpoint. Um, so, yeah, our, our guys aren't nuts about practicing for a week. Um, they want to go They want to go play. Um, but uh, from a coaching perspective, I like having eight or nine days in between, no question. Well, let me tell you, the, the communities behind you, the surrounding areas behind you, no we're rooting for you. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks, Mike. Brad Hoyt with this here on uh, QJTV. A reminder, here's what we're going to plan on doing. We're negotiating right now. <laughs> WTAD AM 930 might be carrying these games, and our plan is this. we If we do this, we will do the first game on Tuesday the 17th at 830, and we'll follow the Blazers as far as they go in the winner's bracket. Either Sean Sen- uh, uh, Seacrease or Tim Kincher, they're basically the same guy. Uh, potentially, uh, they could be your play-by-play people. Again, this is great stuff, and this helps you with recruiting, too. Uh, yeah, I hope so. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, well, I, I I hope so. That's the plan. We, we try to play in big games and big moments. I think kids want to be a part of that. Be rooting for those Blazers, folks. We'll be looking for you next time we see you.